Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, you can't see it right now, but you could see my breath earlier. It's 47 degrees out. Brr. Feels nice and refreshing though this morning. Good morning, pigs. Good morning. You looking for some grain? Feed you over here. We haven't fed you over here yet. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Willow. The girls ready for ready for some breakfast? They're like we're always ready for breakfast. Stop weeding Willow and her babies, so we're gonna be separating them all day today. And for the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be pretty noisy around here. Willow's gonna be calling for her babies, and her baby's gonna be calling for her. We're gonna leave them in the back, so they'll be able to see each other. We're gonna have them in the back dog kennel we have out there. They'll be able to see each other, they just won't be able to milk off of Willow. So this way we can milk in the morning and in the evening. Alright, you ready to get out? Not letting the kids in this morning. Come here, help. Put what Willow the need right here. There you go. Go ahead, go get it. Is that some good stuff or what? Good morning. You just want to jump on me. Yeah, come on in. I think it's funny how we have a few chickens that don't want to get locked up inside at night lately. You guys are getting pretty big. Which I'm glad to see, because you're gonna be going into New York City pretty soon. I try to feed them where the grass is still tall to encourage them to eat in this area. Supposed to have some good clear weather the next few days. So let's see how far we can get before we get any more rain. Uh, we've been spoiled lately with some really nice weather. Yeah, they're not happy. <clears throat> Give it a good sweeping. We want to mark layout on our 6x6 six six posts 
for our 4x4 upright posts. So, 4 inches. Okay, and then we want to be 118 inches to the center from the outside edge. Alright, so now we need to go 118 inches to center of the next post. So, that's going to put us 118 to center. There, so then two inches, 116 and a half. And then 120 and a half. <clears throat> and then it is showing 118 inches from there to there to center. Hundred and eighteen and a half. All right, so we'll do this, mark it, and then if we go two inches, and then another two inches. That'll work. And then this one should be 120 inches to the center and three quarters. No. Alright, let's try this again. I just marked layout and I did it wrong. And by double checking, I figured that out. So we need to go 120 and three quarters to center. Okay. So to center right there. And then I need to go two inches, four inches. So this is wrong. That's center. All right. Always double check your measurements. Then we need to go 118 inches and a half. from center. So right there, 118 and a half. So that'll put me right here for center. And then we'll go two and then two. So this is wrong. That's center. Boom, boom. Then to double check, I want to pull from this end and make sure this falls at 120 and three quarters, and it does. So we are good. When I pulled it last time, we were off a few inches, and that's how I knew I had the layout wrong. So it's worth it to double check everything. Me and Morgan had all this stuff laid out the other day, and then it rained. So I brought it all in the barn because I didn't want it getting wet. So now we can take it back out. All right, so we got one, two, Last one. This one here. This one. All right.
few screws started. that. Let's keep going down the line. <clears throat> I'm going to be using timber locks that are six inches long to secure our top beam into our upright posts. All right, let's grab uh, this one. I'm going to have to reset our staging next time. This looks a little high. The impact is right here. Let's grab two of these, make it three. Get all nice and flush. I like that. Like that. Let's go over here and get this side started. I want to plumb up this post and I'm going to all right let's get it started here Check that. Right on the money. Can you see it right there? Let's check this side. Right on the money. I like it. Let's check 
this one for plum. Right on the money. Right on the money. All right. Let's see how plum this one is. Not too bad. Let's find another piece of strapping. This is all some extra strapping that Jamaica Cottage Shop sends with the kit. So it's nice to have it for things like this. Find a good angle like that. Let's get a screw started. Good right there, I like it. I like it. Let's get right there. Put a few lags in. Please suck it down nicely. I really like how these lags are. I really like how these timber locks work. All right, let's make sure everything's still nice and flush. It is. Let's grab our last top beam and set it in place. Everything in position, everything's lined up nice and flush. Gonna do two GRK flags. And I like putting in one long timber lock right through the center goes through both of the top beams and then right into the upright post locks everything in good now we want to make sure it's plumb this way before we start setting our rafters grab our level and see how we're doing this way. we're off quite a bit yeah it's gonna get sucked over let's get one started right here Right there, double check this side. I like it. See what we have for a reference. All right, so about half an inch, we gotta go in. That's good. We got these steps done. Now we need to get in our angle braces. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So those are gonna be in here. Right here. One, two. Get them set in place.
And then I find if I mark 21 inches down from the bottom of the top post, this is where the bottom of our angle brace will sit. Let's measure first, I guess, and make sure they're the same length as last time. 30 and a quarter. We have two left over here. Let's see how long these ones are. They should be the same. Yeah, so that's the same. I can go just around right away, mark them all. Need one. Last one. What are you doing, Figaro? That one hurt to pre drill them. Stick it towards the outside. Make sure it's nice and flush. I like it. And flush it up. I like that. There we go. Corner brace on this Eve overhang. I like it. It'll give it a lot more strength this way. Looks nice too. All right, so we need 16 two by sixes that are 97 inches long. They're right here. We got the end for the overhang, then the end that goes up against the building. So, I misfigured the 4x4 four four post. I need to cut them back 11 inches, because if I don't, these rafters do not work. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we're too high on this outer edge. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take off the top plate, the top beam, take off my strapping braces, and then I'll take each post off at the bottom Cut my 11 in, my 11 inches or 10 and a half inches off. And then I can stand them right back up and I don't got to take the angle braces off. That's the best way to do it to save me the most amount of time. 
another nice reason to use screws. Something happens, it's easier to take apart. That was a warm, that's for sure. Set those down. Nice and snug fit. Bada boom. I'll set it up right here. There we go. like so. I just got off the phone with Jamaica Cottage Shops. They send these posts long so your eave overhangs are super customizable. There's a couple of ideas I'm thinking about. Let's go do the animal chores first, get that taken care of. I'll think about what we want to do, talk to Gina. And then we'll come back and we'll work on this. It's nice and warm out. Yeah. Sun feels good. Oh, they're sleeping. Alrighty, hold on, be quiet. I'll call them. See if they come and run in. Hey, piggies! <laughs> what are you doing? You want some food? Come on! I just got... <laughs> afternoon. How was your afternoon nap? Was it good? It was good. Did they drink it all? No. No. Is that some good hay? Yes, your babies are back here, Willow. Yep, yeah, they're right there. They're fine. They're eating hay. They're too busy eating. I'll go turn off the fence. Okay, you go turn off the fence. How many eggs do you think today? Maybe like 22 and 22. Ah, we got chicken. Ah, oh yeah, that's that's that. that I think this that. chicken's yeah. starting to go broody. Yep, she's broody. We got broody chicken and no eggs to hatch. That's five, Olivia. Seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Then Moose goes running after her. Yeah. <sighs> Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 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 That kind of makes sense because yesterday we got twenty. Got a feather. So what we're gonna do is our posts only need to be 69 inches tall, and right now they're 77 inches tall. That includes from the floor, and where we put a pressure treated two by six sill plate in that's not called for, we can take out these six by six pressure treated sills, and then we can have our posts all the way to the ground. So that way when we have barn stalls here, we can have the door, and the animals don't have to walk over a six by six. So that's perfect. And this is perfectly customizable for our situation that makes me excited so we're going to take these posts off and reposition them and then when we go to the other side we'll already know all that and the other side is going to go up like that i bet you i'm going to put my layout down here on the two by six sill plate this way we don't have to remeasure everything they'll save us a few minutes All right, now we can take down our posts. We can leave the angle braces and we'll cut our posts down on the bottom and then that can all stay. 
take down our bracing. I'll leave it right by because we're going to use it again. Gina what our options were was customizing the Eve overhang and she's like well why do we need the 6x6 post and I'm like we don't need these we have our own 2x6 post she's like well that would make it easier than the goat or any animal doesn't have to walk up over this and I went glad you thought of that because I wouldn't have next we need to cut these down to 69 inches long they are 77 inches and a half. We need to go 69. Nice. Do this. Oops. Flip it over. Over here. this way this time. This might prove to be a little interesting, trying to stand these up on my own. I already know all the holes line up. Alright, all right. let's get this one leveled up. Let's get this one plumbed up. some parts of the build today I felt like every step forward we took we took two steps back uh, it was kind of one of those frustrating days to say you know how it goes but we managed to get it done 
everything came out good at the end. At the part when I went to feed the animals, I said, you know what, I need to take a step back for a minute before I get mad and frustrated and make something else go wrong. So I just took a step back, went and fed the animals, spent time with Olivia, got my mind and my head back going in the right direction, then came back to the build. It ended up taking us a lot longer today than it, than it normally does, but we got it done. We got it done right. Didn't want to stop and not have as much done as I had done before I caught my mistake. That makes sense. So I wanted to make sure I got it done so then tomorrow we can stop putting the rafters up. It might have cost ourselves a little bit of time, but that's all part of the process. It's all part of learning. That's all part of what it takes to get ahead in life. You just got to roll with the punches, roll with the hiccups, and just, just let it go and, and work with it. If you get mad and you get frustrated with what I found at least, it doesn't do it any good. It only makes it worse. So next time you get into one of those pickles, remember what happened to me today and go, hey, take a step back. It's all going to be okay. We're going to get there in the end. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. We'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.